All right, so we are keeping up with our 2021 marketing trend series. And uh, so far we've run through, you know, storytelling, podcasts, self-publishing, interactives. We've pretty much uh, spanned a bunch of things, but we have more. Uh, So next on the agenda is in-person events. And I know what you're thinking because of coronavirus, how are we going to have in-person events and how is this a trend? But it is. Yeah. I, I, you know, I think what's going to happen is I, I, you're not going to see like these big giant events like CES and things like that in 2021. I mean, we already know that was canceled and a whole bunch of other events, but I think what's really going to happen is you're going to see smaller, (coughs) damn it. (coughs) Brain has coronavirus too. I have the coronavirus. Yeah. Um, all right. Should we He's start not over? allowed at our event? <laughs> no, you don't want me at your event. Uh, but should we start over? <laughs> Just start with, I think. Okay. You're gonna see. So I think what's really going to happen is you're going to see a lot of smaller in-person events where people can manage it, the companies can manage it, they're gonna host localized in-person events. That's that's my theory. Cause I think you, we're humans, we're very social creatures. Um, I don't think in-person events are gonna go away. I think you're just gonna see smaller, more, more intimate in-person events where it could be more one-on-ones with companies. And what we talked about also was using these events almost as a nurturing tool in Mm -hmm. the beginning, right? As they gain some traction and by smaller events, we mean getting a large space, right? Maybe you're at a hotel in a a large ballroom, but you have a smaller amount of people in accordance with whatever your state's restrictions are. And you're inviting people in a very geo-targeted way. And those are your probably going to be your existing customers in the beginning, right? Your existing mm-hmm. list or whatever that might be. But as that progresses, you know, and this will probably start taking place mid year, um, you know, toward the end of next year, but mid year. Um, and as that progresses, then you can start to uh, tap into new client acquisition using these mm-hmm. events. But at first, it will likely be a nurturing kind of event. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think you're going to work with clients you have. Maybe you're going to do some marketing to get a few people in that local area. But think about how targeted your marketing is going to be um, then. Because say, for instance, you're hosting an event in uh, Philadelphia, you know, and maybe you're going to market or gear towards and you have so many clients already in Philadelphia. But then you're going to go and, okay, do I acquire new ones? And how do I acquire them in that localized area for that event? Because someone needs to be, you know, within probably a couple of hours of driving distance, if it's going to be a, you know, two or three hour presentation or, you know, so, because I don't think you're going to see these long extended events that are days at a time either. Right. I think they're going to be short one day sort of events, localized driving distance for most people, you know, because most people still, unfortunately, aren't flying, Um, you know, so I think that's what's really going to happen here Mm -hmm. because you can only do so many digital events i mean look it's great that we have that option it's great that technology has taken us to a place where Mm -hmm. we can have you know um video conferences and things like that but there's only so much of that that you can do because um look and i know people are trying to work on that one-on-one personalized feel within a virtual event but it's never going to be the same as walking up to someone and asking some questions, uh, you know, it's mm-hmm. a very different feel when you're in person. So they're not going to die regardless mm-hmm. of, of right. what's going on. People are just going to adapt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think what people also need to realize those, you know, when you do have those small in-person events, really what you, you do need to make them accessible for people who can't get there. Even if you want to keep it very regional, you know, make it accessible to people in the, you know, in the Pennsylvania area, because what's going to happen is, and we see this, there are so many state restrictions going on now. Like some people can't even really cross the state lines without having to be tested when they come back or to quarantine or whatever the case is, depending on the state restrictions. So I think it's, you're going to see very localized, very, very localized.